Namo Guru Ratna Trayaya, to the teacher and the three jewels I bow, true leader of the golden age, crown of the Sakyas, second Buddha, prince of Uddhyana, lake born Vajra, Bodhisattvas, eight closest spiritual heirs, high nobles of Alokiteshvara and Manjushri, Vajrapani and the rest, 21 Taras, host of noble elders, root and lineage lamas, deities, peaceful and wrathful gods, dakinis in your three homes, the earth, the heavens, and the emanated worlds. You who through wisdom or karma have become defenders of the doctrine, guardians of the directions, 75 glorious protectors, you who are clairvoyant, powerful, magical, and mighty, behold and ponder the beings of this age of turmoil. We are beings born at the sorry end of time, an ocean of ill effects overflow from our universally bad actions. The forces of light flicker, the forces of darkness, a demon army inflames great and powerful men. And they rise in conflict, armed with their nuclear weapons that will disintegrate the earth. The weapon of perverse and errant intentions has unleashed a hurricane. Soon, in an instant, it will reduce the world and all those in it to atoms of dust. Although this ill-omened devil's tool is easy to see, to hear, and think about, ignorant people caught in a net of confusion and doubt are obstinate and still refuse to understand. It terrifies us just to hear about or to remember this unprecedented thing. The world is filled with uncertainty, but there is no means of stopping it, nor place of hope other than you, undeceiving three jewels, the Buddhas, Dharma, and Sangha, and the three roots, Guru, Yidam, and Dakinis. If we cry to you like children calling their mother and father, if we implore you with this prayer, do not falter in your ancient vows, stretch out the lightning hand of compassion, protect and shelter us defenseless beings and free us from fear. When the mighty barbarians sit in councils of war, barbarians who rob the earth of pleasure and happiness, barbarians who have wrong, rough, and poisonous thoughts, bend their chiefs and lieutenants to the side of peace and happiness. Pacify on the spot the armed struggle that blocks us, turn away and defeat the atomic weapons of the demons messengers and by that power make long the life of the righteous and spread the theory and practice of the doctrine to the four corners of this great world eliminate root branch and leaf even the names of those dark forces human and non-human who hate others and the teachings spread vast happiness and goodness over this fragile planet Elevate it truly with the four kinds of glory. And as in the golden age, with all strife gone, let us be busy only with the dance of pleasure, the dance of joy. We pray with pure thoughts, by the compassion of the oceanic three supreme refuges, and by the power of the Dharma Datu, the realm of complete and sublime truth. May the goal of this, our prayer, be achieved magically, just as we have hoped and dreamed.